hey what's up guys so this is supposed to be more of a, like a quarantine session and and this is probably my first time i think my first time ever being on camera and i just want to review my um i would call it my new camera but then i've been using it for a couple of months now as uh it's one of my go-to cameras for for fashion photography for some time now and that's the panasonic lumix g7 it's a very tiny camera like you can actually look at how tiny it is it's i think for form factor it's like really built um for, for, for people like me, because one, I have a tiny hand, so it fits, my grip fits perfectly without having to have an, an extra grip, so that works for me. But then, for a camera like this, which is about $500, which is like, you know, not much for, for the range in which it sits and for what it can do. So this camera is a 60 megapixel camera. I've always been a Canon person, and, and this is also gonna be like a conversation for you to understand why you shouldn't be a brand loyalist the reason for you to be able to change and try new things so my friend gave me this camera um, a couple of months back and, then he, and he had bought it like new and then he said that oh he couldn't figure out the settings so he wanted me to like help him figure out the settings so yeah I took it for a spin and and I shot like some really beautiful photos on it it came with the 14 to uh, 42 viral um, lens which I'll talk about later Another amazing lens, which um, it's more of like a kit lens that comes with it. So this this camera came with that, and I've been taking it for like for fashion shoots and all of that. And I've had like it has like its ups and downs for every gear, it obviously does. But then I think for for five hundred dollars, roughly, it's an amazing camera, and I think you should grab it if if you are venturing into um, photography in general, um, especially something that like you you don't have enough money to put into or even if you have enough money it's a camera you can always grab along for traveling or for like youtube vlogs or for anything that it's not it's not like very big budget you know or well you could still use for big budget depending on, i've shot documentaries with this camera and i think it's an amazing camera so this camera is a it's a 4k um sensor uhd it's not it's not the best in terms of dynamic range to be honest like I've seen like better cameras with dynamic range before. I used to shoot with a 5D Mark IV, and and I've seen like how how great that camera is in terms of dynamic range. But I think for a price of five hundred dollars, this is an amazing camera. I've shot some amazing pictures with this, and and anytime I tell people, like I've been to, I walk into studios where people see my camera, they're like, oh, it's so light. It's, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't like heavy stuff. <laughs> it has a. Um, an electronic viewfinder you know this 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 beautiful thing here i think this is one of the best things about mirrorless cameras that i have fallen in love with and what well, this is the only mirrorless camera i've shot with oh, i've shot with the sony as well yeah but then generally i think i really love the mirror the electronic viewfinder that comes with mirrorless cameras and for me it sort of makes my work a little bit easier so that i don't have to keep on peeping you know take one photo peep take one photo peep and check if like i have everything looking good I've noticed one thing about the viewfinder which is more of like a, uh, a disadvantage is that it doesn't really display exactly in terms of colors as um, the original LCD does. It's a bit desaturated which is not really a big deal. As soon as you wrap around it and uh, you have it in mind, you tend to understand it and then it gets a little bit easier for you. But generally I think it's an amazing camera. Um, it has a top, um, top flash which I have noticed works well with my XT1 that's the Canon trigger so I don't necessarily have to have like a customary trigger for, for Panasonic or anything I don't know whether it's anything like that in the market but then the fact that it works with that I'm sure it might be like a universal um, hot shoe which is great so that you can use other brands it has a couple of um, top dials uh, I like how the dials are built it's almost close to the Fuji film which uh, I really love, I almost got one, but I lost the deal. So uh, I'm gonna see whether I can get one anytime soon, probably for like cheaper price, you know, like shit is expensive. So yeah, so um, it has like a, a movie mode, it has a custom mode, manual mode, standard mode, automatic mode, and basically all the stuff that you, you could have, you could customize. Um, there's this one function button for customize. I think Fuji has three, but then, for one, I think it's, it's for, for the number of dials you have, you have like 
three dials at the top i think it's really good one of the best things i love about this camera is the battery life i have never ever i've been photographing for close to five years now i've never like i'm from a canon background and i know how durable canon batteries are especially the lp6 i have never used a, a camera which which battery is so durable as as the uh, panasonic g7 i have shot like three days straight photos no videos three days straight photos without charging on on this battery and i've shot two days film on this battery without charging it's an amazing battery and i i don't know whether knockoffs because obviously going to be knockoffs in the market so knockoffs are going to be as durable or probably better than the original but i think that if you're getting this and you have like two original batteries you should be good to go it has a one memory card slot it takes the S, sd card i think the maximum is 128 i think so i don't know whether it goes beyond that but generally it's an amazing camera again i'm going to say it's an, it's, it's really it's a great camera i i can't really like it was it was more of like a try and error for me and it was something that i was just supposed to like try to figure out how the menu system works for my friend but i ended up buying it of him and i haven't regretted for any bit it doesn't have for video it's not the best at follow focus because the sensor is not like, really the best in terms of like um having a grasp of the subject so i'm not going to like say it's quite excellent at video but if you're going to put your tripod and focus on yourself it does some good tracking but it's not the best if you're moving too much or there's like so many obstructions you might not get your money's worth of what you want from it but if it's subtle movement less obstructions then you're good to go like it's an excellent camera and it comes with again i mentioned it comes with the um the vio 14 to 42 lens which i didn't even know was a kit lens so i figured it was a kit lens um when um, i posted so yeah beginning of the year i decided to shoot a music video and i shot i didn't have any other micro four ted lens i wanted to rent one but then it was a um, self-funded music video for a friend so we didn't really have enough money to put into it so i said okay let, let me roll with the lens i have we're going to see if it works and we went on set with one lens and it turned out amazing i'm going to put a link as to the music video beneath i'm going to put some links to videos i've shot with this camera on v on on video you can see photos of what i'm able to shoot and you can see like it's you can't even tell that it was shot with this camera and i normally don't do well i don't think i've ever done a tech review but then i felt like i had to like put you guys on this beautiful camera and for a lot of people coming into the space the industry space and want to have some to start with because I, I find like a lot of people messaging me and say hey which camera do you think is the best which camera do you think is the best ideally i'm not really a technical guy so i'm not like very tech savvy as to which sensor size and all of that um i tend to make do with what i have and sometimes it places obstacles and i get over them so i find like ways to fix them sometimes as well it's it makes me learn new things so I'm not really like best tech person. I'm gonna say, okay, if I use this or it has this sensor or has this. No, I, I wouldn't excel at that. I wouldn't be the best person. Hopefully, I learn more about that. But then, as as of today, this is what I want to speak to you guys about, and I hope like you get a chance to buy one if I get into the um, the photography or the filming space, and and I'm very sure I wouldn't disappoint you. It's an amazing camera, like. For, for how much is what it's an amazing camera uh, even for low light uh, and and my lens is a five it's a 3.5 i think most so even if, if you have a lens at 1.8 you, you should be good to go at low light because at 3.5 i even managed to shoot like some really good low light quality you know this is going to be the end of today and i hope to get the chance to record more videos about myself and discuss photography and and your approach to um yeah, basically, we're going to find like a couple of things to talk about on the next episode of Quarantine. <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys stay safe and try as much as possible to reduce contact with people and stay home, eat healthy. And yeah, we hope to get through this. Bye, guys.